So we have some amazing art here. This is a large piece painted by my friend, Neil Kesterson, who is here. He's one of the fellow guides at Desert Adventures Tour Guiding. We do kayak tours on the river. You can see water sports equipment in the background. We got our canoe here. But I've got Neil. He's going to tell me a little bit about this piece. So this incorporates a little bit of what we do in like the tour guiding industry with Absolutely. Fact, Jenga. This, <laughs> this is in Black Canyon. This is the Colorado River back here. Yeah. Uh, this is the rope I tie the, ca the kayaks and canoes up with at work. That's part of my everyday. What's the... Uh... This is a tamarisk that I sit under for lunch a lot of times on the river. Very familiar with the tamarisk plants, yeah. And this was representing my life at the time. Maybe have you stand here because you're in the. Oh yeah. Yeah, come to come to this left side. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and uh, cardboard boxes oftentimes represent me in my paintings. It's a recurring theme. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is called balance. So this was at a precarious time in my life, trying to put the pieces back together. Some of the pieces are like washed away down there on the beach. It's still standing though. Right. Very so important. Jenga blocks blend into the trunk itself. See that, like in the bottom ones? What do you think? Is this a particular spot in Black Canyon? It is in my head. It doesn't have to be, but I know where this spot is. Now. Indeed. I feel like I know where this spot is too. Across from mile marker 56. Something like that. Yeah. And there's some petroglyphs and stuff there in the rocks. This back here I did with a palette knife, actually. Lots of scraping. Yeah. And then the rest of it was more detailed. And I love to combine different styles. The yellows, the reds, and the greens in the tree. Yeah. What, what are the uh, the significance of the blue blocks in the Jenga? Uh, oftentimes, my wife, uh, the turquoise will oftentimes represent her in my paintings. Not always. Yeah. But there are times where that represents her. So I was rebuilding my life, and she's helped me balance in there put things back together a little bit windy in vegas here but yeah any good jenga stack has to withstand the wind right and yours we played has some fun jenga yesterday we did beer zombies has full-size adult jenga and beer it's a About great combination yeah, it's a great combination <laughs> so this is a relevant piece of art yep yeah. all i trying to make all my work relevant to my life so there's styles of artwork that I like, that mm -hmm. I like to incorporate that style, but it has to be something that like, like me painting a picture of Paris or Hawaii, I've never been to either one of them. Indeed. It doesn't make sense. So it I makes more sense. I may use that style of a piece of art that I like, but I do it in things that make are the story of my life. This piece really, is that's all I know, right? beautiful. So this is, how much are you selling this one for? You know, I'd have to look it up, but if anybody's interested, they are more than welcome to contact me. And, Neil has a... I do have a price sheet, I just don't have it on me. Indeed. Something like $10,000. Well, I mean, that is you my know, next... The next 5, goal. 5000 is my next goal. 10000 the goal after that. I've gotten really close. I'd like to crest that $5,000 mark. I'd let it go for that. For I sure. think that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll link Neil in the description down below. Check out his Instagram. That's the best way to contact him. Yep. Just Neil Kesterson. Also on Facebook with me posting with Desert Adventure stuff. Indeed. So like our kayaking life is all intertwined in our yeah. life. <laughs> my my adventures end up in my artwork. It's amazing. They feed each other. Oh. <laughs>